Hello, Internet people. In this quick video, I'll show you the new insights feature in Google Search Console, which will make it easier for you to get insights from your existing traffic. Tape sweat punch. All right, log into your Google Search Console and click on Overview in the left menu. If you don't have Google Search Console yet, I'll leave a link in the description to my tutorial on that topic. And you should see this page now. Here on top, just click on this link. If it doesn't appear here, then check the link in the description. I'll add the direct link there. Now, it will load Google Search Console Insights. Before you start scrolling around, Google advises that you connect your Google Analytics to Insights. So let's do that. Click on this button and it will show you Google Analytics property it wants to connect. Go to Google Analytics to check if this is indeed the right one. Okay, so here I have the ID and it ends in 520-1. And if I look at my GA, this is indeed my main property and the default view. So all looks correct. That means I can confirm the association. And now Google will connect everything within a few seconds and then the page will refresh. So Google Search Console Insights is meant to make it easier for you to monitor and draw insights from your SEO traffic. As the normal Google Search Console is a bit messy, you have to click around to see things. So here is the Google Search Console Insights and you'll notice it's still in beta. So there are probably new features as we progress. Um, you have the whole time page views. Not sure why that's relevant, but anyway, here on top, you can also choose another uh, property in your Google Search Console, but this is my main one, so I'll keep it. You can see that you have for the last 28 days some insights. And if you click on this one, you'll uh, learn more about this uh, overview of the graph and stuff like that. And maybe there's also some tips from Google directly. And you see you have also your new content section here, which just means anything that came uh, in the last 28 days. How's that doing? So in my case, this article is not doing as well as I would like it. Maybe I need to go and tweak it. You can always just click into these and it will show you per page data. So now you can see I'm looking only at this article. You see there's been this many views in the last 28 days. Uh, also average view duration has been more than four minutes. That's not too bad. Okay, where is the traffic coming to this article? I see organic and direct and social and then it will break down everything for google search and also referral links i don't have anything yet and also the social media so it'll tell you a bit more about each so let's look out at the article that is actually a bit more interesting this one is too new here you see the my most popular content and uh, i have this tool uh, it's not so interesting because it's a tool so maybe let's take a look at one of my articles so I don't know, let's scroll here. For example, this one, WordPress anchor link. Let's click on it. And here again, all the data, all the stats are for this specific page. For this article, you have the page overview. Then you have, okay, where did the people come from? Organic search a lot, that makes sense. And then in Google search, you can see that most people come from this keyword, WordPress scroll to section. 23 clicks in last 28 and you can see it's top five result because the average position is 4.3 in google search you see a bit more data you can scroll down see which keywords you're uh, ranking for and i have one referring uh, link from another website looks like it looks quite legit nice you want to have more backlinks than just one uh, that way you can also rise in seo and you see, I have some views from social media. That's my YouTube channel. Let's go back to the overview. And in general, just this is a place for you to check what's going on. So for example, for me, this is my number one keyword. So I can see that I had 500 clicks just from this keyword. So this is really great. It's uh, in first place uh, and if I just scroll down, I'll see more and more keywords. Obviously, uh, one or two pages usually dominate these. So these queries are for my most popular pages. But anyway, just more insights. And you can see here that you can also, these are the referring websites. And you can also 
uh, sorted by either top referring links or newest referring links. And top referring links means that these websites have a bit more authority. So that's why Google prioritizes that. It sees them as more reliable also. So you can see here, okay, social media, YouTube is my number one and things like that. So this is really a quick overview of how's your website doing. And I, I really actually like it because it's an easy way to see queries for, for specific pages or just top queries in general. I, I think this is useful. Google Search Console is a super powerful tool to monitor your SEO traffic and improve SEO. If you want to know all available features and how to use them, then check out this complete Google Search Console tutorial.